guys, a very warm welcome to another video. So today we're having a look at Christian Blumenfeld's run from Ironman 70.3 Bahrain, which was held a couple of days ago now and coupled as the uh, Middle East Championship. However, Christian was running as part of a team event rather than individual race. So the individual race was taken out by Vincent Louis. Um, and then Christian had a run leg for his team, uh, Bahrain victorious i believe they were called so um if we have a look at his uh strava analysis you can see he's included his warm-up into the overall distance so this is not um the 21 kilometers in of itself or in isolation uh but even even still with like a three kilometer almost warm-up he's still averaged a, a 331 so it's very impressive so um this is his estimated power i believe 289 watts um always difficult to read into the strava estimations for that one weight 75 kilograms um 1968 calories elevation gain of 85 meters uh, and then there's the elapsed time here uh i think the temperature was around it says about 23 degrees celsius i think it was a little bit warmer than that but um unfortunately no heart rate data which would have been good to see but we can have a look at everything else uh, and we can also go over the splits individually. So we can look down at every one of his splits and then kind of overlay that as well with his uh, with the with the course. So starting here, this will be the first split. This kilometer four actually, well, kilometer three of a six ten kilometer pace actually involves a little bit of the uh, the first kilometer because he went out in like a basically a sub three minute kilometer i think um and then he's gone from here on so 302 308 307 314 316 309 310 three minutes 16 319 all the way through and staying pretty consistent but maybe slowing a little bit at the end uh finishing on a 322 uh but what's impressive i guess with this time overall is that one it's by no means uh super flat course but also if we look at the amount of complete u-turns there are in just 21 kilometers so this this is the start of the run here and then we have one u-turn two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so at least 15 complete u-turns in only 21 kilometers of racing or running so i mean that indicates that you're going to be losing a fair bit of time overall and if this was a normal 21 kilometer race in isolation you probably wouldn't be turning around completely 15 times during just 21 kilometers so very impressive i do think that uh christian had gone faster in the past as part of a team leg for this run i think it was around 106 he's done previously maybe a couple of years ago but we've got to put this into perspective of him coming off the back of third place at Kona. Prior to that was first place overall at the Ironman World Championships uh, in St. George earlier in the year that, for 2021, which was actually held in 22. Uh, and also his uh, very impressive win at the Ironman 70.3 World Championship in St. George. So a super successful year for Christian. And I don't believe he was training. He wasn't by any means targeting this event and can still you know, whip out some very impressive times like this. So we can have a look on the left as well, the peak paces. Um, peak 400 meter pace was a 251 per kilometer. One kilometer, his fastest 1K was a, uh, a two minute 59. Through three kilometers in a 304, five kilometers, 309, and then 10 kilometers in 311. Then overall for the 21.2 uh, kilometers, or 21.1 kilometers, I should say, was... Uh, a 314 per kilometer so yeah i mean definitely an impressive run from christian and i'll link the strava data so you guys can go and have a look um and kind of do an analysis for yourself if anyone's keen to check it out but uh yeah i, I mean it just goes to show the caliber of these guys even in the individual sports alone. And I mean, I'm sure if Christian was to train for this event specifically to go out and do a half marathon individually, he would be um, yeah, quite a bit faster than this 108 that he's done on the weekend. But uh, yeah, we also, and we also had, I mean, for, the, for that example, we had 
uh, Jan Fredino and Alistair Brownlee also competing in teams, doing the bike and swim legs um, for different teams. So, yeah, super impressive. And again, just, just highlights the level of professional Ironman that, you know, they can go out and run very respectable times in individual sports. And it's not just the case that they're purely, you know, good at triathlon. They're good at all three sports individually. And yeah, like I said, I'm sure if Christian was to fully train for a half marathon, he'd be going, you know, significantly faster other than this 108 that he's done. But nonetheless, a 314 per kilometer pace average and a 108.04 official race time. Uh, you know, to put that into perspective for Vincent Louis' performance, he did a 109. And I think that that's, you know, even more impressive. However, Christian, I'm sure, wasn't really targeting this event like um, he would have been for the Ironman World Championships, etc. So hope you guys enjoyed that very brief um, little breakdown and analysis of Christian's run. Um, and yeah, I'll see everyone in the next video.